Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we are going to be talking about if you should take a pay cut when you are switching careers to become a developer. Let's talk about it. So Malik's back here, he's saying with Joe, but on the small jobs, I'm the only income. What if I have to take a huge salary cut to get the job, which will make you paycheck to paycheck? Um, you got to figure that out on your own, I guess, Joe, right? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're already making 100K uh, and you're digging a ditch, maybe yeah. that's, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> you know, like, and not only that, that yeah. you know, at the same time, I've seen a lot of students of mine that, you know, like I had this guy who was an accountant, right? And he yeah. was like, I'm making 75. I don't want to make less than this. And I'm like, bro, you're switching careers. You're right. not switching. You're not going to school back again for four years, right? You're switching careers. You learned this at home. You got the skills. Now you're going to switch careers with the bare minimum of like education and, 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 and experience. Right. It's like you're actually, you saved a lot of money. If you really think about it, you saved a lot of money. And at the same time, you're going to make way more than what you're making as an accountant within six right. months. You know what I'm saying? Like even, you know, on tops a year, you know, so it's a hit that you got to take. But at the same time, it's like, OK, I'm switching careers. You're, you, you know what I mean? It's like you started yeah. over, but with something that's going to be a, a higher ceiling compared exactly. to what you're making right. with an accounting. You know? we, we, at Code Friend, we have a word we call it the path to 100k in other words mm -hmm. like you on that road but that's going to take three years to get there usually some people can get there faster um and then you have all these like people saying that um i'm gonna walk out of my boot camp making 250 and i'm like you're just not i mean but you could get there one day but you gotta stick yeah. to your craft um so mm -hmm. we got one guys aj jarris says hey guys i've been doing dev for two years for a company doing HTML, CSS, vanilla JS. Have my first coding challenge for React this weekend. I only use React for personal projects. A bit nervous. Okay. Okay. So I'm confused. I've been a dev for two years in a company doing HTML, CSS, vanilla JavaScript. My first coding challenge for React JS this weekend. Okay. So you're nervous because you're gonna get an interview and they're gonna test you on React and you haven't yeah. really used it as much yeah. as. Uh, you wish you you like, right? But yeah. one thing that I will say is, this is a learning experience. Like, yeah. even if you failed, now you know what you got to work on. Right. You you know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. You have nothing to lose. Nothing. It, it's not like you. You know, this is one of the greatest things about interviews. It's not like you're going in there and they say, "Hey, put five hundred dollars on the table, and if you say <laughs> everything wrong, we keep it." No, you have nothing to lose. Like you're going in there and everything that you're going to get is nothing but wins, right? Because you're going to exactly. learn what you need. You're going to see, uh, get that experience of going into those interviews. And then now, you know, your second, third interview, you're going comfortable. There's no more anxiety. There's no more nervousness. There's no more you being like, man, do I know this thing? It's like now your brain can think and you can answer the questions and you could be more fluent and, and comfortable in the interviews. You know, when I first got hired, you know, my first job, like I said, um, it wasn't like the, the most uh, biggest company or anything, right? I went to Twitter, I went to Tumblr, failed both of them because I wasn't ready at the time. You know, mm -hmm. I felt like I was like, damn, I, I'm doing good if they call me in, you know what right, I mean? Exactly. And then, <laughs> you know, I'm doing pretty damn good if, if they look at my portfolio and they call me in, I, I think I did something good. Now, what I said was, you know what? This is a learning experience. I'm not going to stay home and cry about it. It's like, this is what is supposed to happen. I never right. had an interview as a developer. I've worked in retail. I've worked in yeah. everything else. But when you are a developer, this is more technical and, and uh, being able to prepare for it. You get to prepare for, for it by having that experience and going in. If you fail, you fail. If you passed it, you passed it. You know, it's great. But go in there thinking about it as a learning experience. Don't go in there thinking, I need to get this job. Because a lot of times that first job that you think that is the one that's for you, when you go in there, you start realizing, I could have done better or I could have had a, a better opportunity. You know what I mean? So yeah. regardless, just go in there and think about it like a learning experience, you know? Yeah. And I think people are afraid of failure. Um, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes in life you do get cut. You know, um, mm -hmm. I have one guy says, what happens if I get fired after six months? I'm like, well, you made money for six months. You know, like 
you go get the next one. <laughs> you know, exactly. like, why would you stay home and make nothing when you can make something? Hey guys, I hope you guys liked this video and you know, really enjoyed the conversation that me and my boy Bobby was having in here. Okay. I want you guys to make sure you go to the description below. I'm going to put a link to the full interview that we did with him on his channel. If you guys want to go check it out, it's a long conversation, right? Probably like an hour, but it's worth it because there's so many gems in there. Okay. Definitely go check it out. All right. Now, by the way, guys, if you want to go and learn how to code, make sure you go to codingphase.com. We try to teach you everything that you need to become a developer, get your first job, and then at the same time to make income for yourself as an independent developer. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys later. It's been a long day. <laughs>